to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. What's that about? Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? Hi, Millicent. I don't know what happened yesterday. I got to check it. So funny. I don't know why I brought your name up. So we're going to look at that. We're going to investigate. How is everyone doing? Let me do a mic check to see if you all can hear me. Please contact me for readings. 213-458-7408. Wait, what? What do you mean? Sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me. <gasps> oh, yes. Why does this keep happening? All right. Why does this keep happening? All right. I told you guys I was a lot more serious lately, and I'll come out of it, but I'm not rushing. Like, I don't care. Um, oh, here we go. Out of it, but I'm not rushing. Okay, like, okay. You care. guys can hear me. Mic check, mic check. Great. Um, oh, here we go. Good, 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 good. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm exhausted, guys. Good health, Millicent. Good health, Marcella. Good health, Soul Sister. Good health, Creative Soul. Um, it's been stated that. Oh, 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 Sarah. Oh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. At this stage of the game, when I get to this point, what's happening here? What's happening? I have the worst dress, and I got on booty shorts at the top, and I can't even wear booty shorts well. Listen to me. Oh, my God, they just cut the grass. Don't you love the smell of grass? I loved the smell of grass since I was a kid. All right, listen to me. I love the smell of grass. <sighs> okay. At this stage of the game, I look like a goddamn idiot. So you know what I'm going to do? First of all, I'm going to go predicted in it. I just got to find which video where I said she wasn't going to show up for Easter. That's the first thing. The second thing is... Katie ain't never showing up again. Ever. I don't care what pictures they put out there. She's never going to show up again. All of a sudden, you're going to hear the chemo took her the turn for the worse. And then you're going to, for a while there, it's going to be like, oh, okay, Kate's not doing well, blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to hear breaking news. Watch. Watch. They put a picture out of Kate sitting next to William, which William supposedly, like, happy. Did I save that picture? But it wasn't a front-on picture, right? It was a side picture. Come on. Whoever this doppelganger in, you're going to die, too. Oh, I always wear booty shorts, child. Always in a day. Booty shorts. Booty, 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 booty. 
Oh, all day. They wear booty shorts. It's too hot otherwise. Way too hot. You think cut grass smells like watermelon? Huh. I like that. Thank you, Gourmet. Gourmet says, I think, I thought that Kate video was fake. AI and deep fake videos are so advanced now, but whoever is doing the video is not advanced in their skill. Do you know what I mean? Because they still have to make it grainy. Let me see if I saved a picture today. Thank you for that, Gourmet. Okay, let me see something. I gotta respond to somebody real quick. Hey, Rhonda. Oh, let me see if I save the picture. You sent me an email, Sarah? God damn it, if I didn't save that damn picture. Let me see. Hmm. It was from the site Princess something. I just get sick of so much lies and how much the royalists just want to keep believing. You know what? I'm at a, a disadvantage, right? It was in community. They put out a picture of the two of them sitting together. I was like, stop. I, I didn't even check the background. Alright, can't find it, so it is what it is. I don't think it was a short. I'm pretty sure it's community. Oh well, I don't care. I am going to. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'll do that for you, hon. They they keep space probably for a long time. Allow myself enough space for them to screw themselves. Y'all know me. Spirit is never wrong. So what we're going to do is sit back. Ladies and gentlemen, it is for me it a great sadness me. that I cannot be with you all today. Oh, stop. Get out of here. I do want to see this. What kind of videos do they put out? Uh, it is for me a great sadness. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's how I could find it. Oh, but I don't know the channel. It's called Prince, Princess of Wales, maybe, channel. Search. All right, I'll find it, because they show up on my feed a lot, this channel. But I don't see it. All right, I'm over it. What did you send me? 
Sarah. The British royal family has had an unpleasant. Oh, I think that is putting it softly. King Charles is as of now going through disease treatment. Queen Camilla had some time off from her royal obligations, and in maybe the greatest blow, the royal family is enduring an onslaught in the midst of Kate Middleton's new Photoshop embarrassment. We've got a pristine update on March 11. Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. UK media sources The Sun and the Day-to-Day -day Mail distributed a picture of Middleton close by King William in the secondary lounge of a vehicle that was gone to the Province Day administration at Westminster Convent. While William's facial elements were effectively noticeable, just the rear of Middleton's head should have been visible as she was totally gotten some distance from the camera. The new picture prompted new Photoshop claims, as royal onlookers rushed to take note of that the blocks found in the photograph didn't coordinate. Likewise raised doubt about was the Princess of Wales's haircut and embellishment decision being frightfully like that of a lot more established picture taken of her at an occasion. Goff Photographs, the organization answerable for catching and appropriating the most recent photograph of the Sovereign and Princess of Wales, in any case, demands that there was no treachery with the picture. Goff told E! News that the pics have been trimmed and eased up, however, nothing has been doctored. The new assertion comes only days after the photograph that sent off the Photoshop contention was delivered, Middleton's mom's date picture close by her and William's kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Fans saw a few irregularities with the picture, especially with Charlotte's sweatshirt and skirt and Middleton's hair. After the picture was hailed by true outlets like the related press and Reuters for seeming control, the Princess of Wales accepted any consequence for the disaster, asserting that her novice photography and altering abilities were at fault. In the same way as other beginner photographic artists, I really do at times explore different avenues regarding altering. I needed to communicate my statements of regret for any disarray the family photo we shared yesterday caused, she wrote in an expression of remorse presented on X on March 11. I trust everybody celebrating had an exceptionally blissful Mother's Day. C. I generally attempted to cover the regal family in a manner that would intrigue the bad to the bone devotees as well as easygoing perusers, utilizing my own perceptions and inquiries to direct my inclusion. My greatest royal story was my January 2020 examination of UK media titles about Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, which was really something I'd been chipping away at and adding guides to since February 2019. In spite of the fact that I had consistently covered the regal family, the outcome of that post urged my editors to send off an illustrious bulletin, the Regal Tea, and give me organized time for stories that were more logical and more in my own voice than straight-up news posts. Starting thereon, I covered Regal news as it broke, however I likewise composed a ton of profound jumps, examinations, and takes a gander at parts of the Regal media environment that no other person was truly covering. Perhaps the earliest thing to know is that the illustrious family doesn't have one major press group cooperating to set the public account. The Lord and Sovereign have their press group, Buckingham Castle, and the Ruler and Princess of Grains have their press group, Kensington Royal Residence. The castle can be utilized for either imperial family while you're alluding to the illustrious press device in a story. Assuming Ruler Harry is to be accepted, there is steady infighting, one increasing, and releasing that happens in the background, Staff members for one individual from the imperial family will give harming or false anecdotes about one more part to the press to cause their manager to appear noticeably more appealing. He and his better half Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have made claims about this framework in meetings and he meticulously... All right. You can hear the investigation part and I'm checking it out. Um, let's see where, all right, okay, so it is what it is. I, I just decided that the best thing I can offer up is nothing, absolutely nothing. There are times when you just do readings and you just let it go. You just let it go. Shankwella's, was it Shankwella or Kanika? Kanika's uh, reading didn't come true for six years. So I think 
I'll do a predicted it because she's not showing up for Easter Sunday. I'll do that. But beyond that, I think I might have to not do anything for clickbait. Like, I don't want to do readings. I don't want to talk about Kate just to talk about Kate. Like, that just doesn't work for me. So, I am going to pull out, like I've done for Amanda Bynes, like I've done for Wendy Williams. Like, it just gets to the point where the value of doing readings is not worth it for me as a psychic, as a moral component in this crazy world. So, for right now, you win, you royal assholes. Moving on, though, I might begin doing more readings on Meghan Markle and her amazing husband, Prince Harry. I love her husband. I love her. And so proud of them for executing uh, an exit particularly around the time that they took security away from them. So what was happening what is happening to Kate right now wasn't supposed to be Kate. It was supposed to be Megan. There was a whole plan to quiet her ass, right? But now we you know the ghost of Diana talked to Megan, right? Because Megan Harry's gifted but he's got royal blood, so he gets confused with protocol. But Megan was like, I, I don't have, listen, what, Diana, what? Get out, say less. You know, Megan got all hood. All oh, she's like, say less. Husband, we don't have security. That means nobody's watching the door. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Oprah. Hey, girl. No, I really don't like you, Oprah, but hey, girl. Play the game. Listen, get us up out of here, and I'll give you an exclusive. Oprah's like, Tyler Perry? Private jet, please. Because they don't have no passports. Yep. Now. Listen to this. You're going to love this, guys. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Oh, Steph says, I just finished watching a young Miami vid last night. I was gagging when you mentioned Clarence Avant and Dizzler in a pic. I screamed because Clarence's wife died in that home invasion. Uh, I don't even know this Clarence guy. Okay, listen to Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle's UK plans. Predicted it. it. Ah, guys, I predicted it is. Nobody, I predicted it is. Oh my God. I mean, I predicted that, you know what I predicted, right? I, you know, you, you know, you know. Oh, see, red lipstick. See, this is what happens when you wear red lipstick. I predicted that William would not be king because he deleted Kate and I'm sticking to it. I'm not changing my story. Then I predicted that William is gonna need to be hiding out, either because he becomes mental or because they don't wanna they don't want the world to see that he is a killer. So they're gonna execute a plan to get him out of there. I feel like he's going to wind up in a church sanctuary type of place. Ultimately. But he's going to be able to walk around and stuff like that. He's just going to get my mental health together. 
And I think that psychically, I've already been through this. I'm just like going over my head, my videos on this. That ultimately King Harry, that Harry will become King Harry. People are starting to flirt with me on IG and Facebook and stuff. And I don't know. Let's see. I just want to see what he looks like. Hold on. Wait. It's probably not even in my agency, this photo. You're definitely young. Yeah, you're young. No, you're a baby. Aww. I love when the babies flirt with me, but it's a no for me. But okay, let's 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 play along. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't date anyone. Like, be clear about it. He goes, "Good morning, young lady. How old are you? Should I start out with I'm 62? What should I say? Hello, young man." I could be your mother. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm over it. Let's see if he flirts. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe he's like, hey, I want a reading with you. All right. Are they cute? Well, my son wants to hook me up with some random dude that contacted him. And my, they're like, my son and his wife was like, he was being respectful by coming through crying. I'm like, no. What am I missing? Because I am, I don't know, I don't see the same thing. He's like, I think I should hook you two together. And I'm like, um, no. I don't want to start, like, I don't want to be an IG vixen or, a, like, it's just because of this quiet on set. Like, first of all, First of all, like, no, like, weird. Like, where were you guys before quiet on set? And I know that's not the right thing to say, but but that's how I feel. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Hi, Kenneth. Hi, the King Chicks. Hey, girl. Hey, I love that. Um, all right. Hi, the Black Swan. Hi, Steph. Yeah, the whole Clarence. I'm scared of I'm scared of Clarence and Clarence is dead. I'm scared of Clarence now. I'm scared of Clarence. Alright. So let's let's get back to because it's too much. Like it's just all over the place. I just gotta pick a ball. One ball, Tracy, and talk about the one ball. Then pass it. Okay. See, Meghan Markle's attendance at the upcoming Invictus Games anniversary service is still uncertain, though Prince Harry is confirmed to return because he's paving the way. Speaking to the Daily Express, a source revealed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are listed as guests at the upcoming service at St. Paul's Cathedral in the UK in May because William won't be there. However, Megan's name. However, Megan's name has been penciled in to be confirmed in a copy of the official schedule. Harry is slated to deliver a moving speech at the tenth <clears throat> anniversary of the game for the injured veterans during the service, and this is going to be on May eighth. Both Harry and Mickey is this is gas, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Harry and Megan, Harry is going to go to UK to 
have more conversations with King Charles. King Charles is going to give him a residence. He is not going to live there, but he's going to wind up in a, with a legal residence in the UK. Now, that paves the way for the change in the lineup. So he'll wind up with a legal residence. They'll make a big deal out of it, announce it on all the media, social medias. And then he's going to come back home. Then he's going to make another visit after May. There'll be another visit. And then he's going to go back home. Meanwhile, they still need to figure out how to announce that Kate has been deleted. Um, so then we're going to get, off my words, Kate is not doing well. So then you're going to get... Harry flying over and staying for a while. Then you're going to get then you're going to get let me see something Then you're going to get Kate is taking a turn for the worst. Then she'll pass, but she already passed, but she'll pass. Then you're going to get William is distraught. The country mourns with William. And we're going to get that drama for a while. All fake. Then they're going to announce William is too distraught to ever take over the throne. He needs rest and care from his countrymen. And at some point, it's going to be decided that he will not take over the throne because recovering from his wife takes forever. Y'all keep thinking, oh, Rose Hanbury, Rose takes forever. And he's going to go in, what is it? Solitary confinement, but not mental health. They're not going to have him go crazy. He's going to go, or maybe he's going to start traveling, maybe, to find himself. He's going to get mental counseling. Somebody's going to travel with him. But his recovery, getting over his wife, there's no measure for that, right? So they're going to say, we have to fix the lineup. Okay, the boy texted me. He says, sorry if it was weird for me to message you. I know I'm probably out of your age range. But I couldn't pass you up without telling you how beautiful you are. Not trying to hit on you or be rude, just a genuine compliment. Aww. Thank you. Okay, moving on. So then, here comes, meanwhile, they're going to set the stage for the media to begin to love Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. And then once Kate officially passes, legally, officially, you know, somewhere around the eclipse again, because these people love the eclipse. All their deaths and births are like fucking lies, right? They love the eclipse, right? I don't know about births, but their deaths are lies. Then, once she officially passes, then we're going to get what if Megan becomes the next in line, blah, 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 blah. Then, 
the UK will all of a sudden love a black woman. Megan! 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 Then, Tracy will have at least 12 predicted in it. Soon. All right, so he said he's not flirting, right? And if you're not flirting, you're not flirting. You want to say I'm beautiful? Okay, that's all, that's all it takes? Then I accept and thank you. Young man, the son of my son's age. It's just weird. Imagine doing a documentary and then coming out and be like, I'm dating someone my son's age. Well, weird. Concept, conceptually very uncomfortable. All right. No, I didn't see it, Sarah. I didn't, I didn't see it. And I played the video, but I didn't see it. Sorry, sweetie. Chantel, hi. Black Heart Soul Sister, hi. Cat, good morning, Cat. Cat, where are you? Where are you? Are you still where I think you are? Are you still where you told me you would be? This is the worst coffee today, and I don't know what I did wrong, but it's okay. I think I just put in too much milk. There's no rhyme or reason. Girl. Oh, take a nap. Can you take a nap then? Listen, the one thing I believe in, child, is napping. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't know. I nap between readings. Yep. Like this. And go to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You gotta work. I'm sorry. You put too much milk in your coffee, too? I said, too. Because it's like, I like caramel complected, if that means anything in terms of color. But this is more, um, it's lighter than a brown paper bag. If I can just be racist with my coffee. <laughs> Has anybody gone to go sleep in their car when you're working? Like you go to lunch, you eat lunch in your car, you put that seat back, put on some good music, Think some good thoughts, and you are out. And you're out so bad, you miss work. You literally wake up, and they're all walking home. And so you scoot under, hoping nobody sees that you're in the car still. <laughs> and then you come back the next day, and you're like, I threw up. I wish I could have called you, but I was vomiting for days. I couldn't even con you I just couldn't. Like you just lie. <laughs> no, this is me. Me and Kenneth. I gave my birds a uh, a bath and a drink to drink. Now I thought they would bathe in it, but they're actually drinking out of it, fresh water. I love taking care of my birds. When was this? Oh. All right. Hi, Amanda. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? So Jason and I had our first meeting on creating the concept of Psychic Kids. It's not going to be called that. I forget the name of it. Um, spiritual something. Who knows? Um, and we're excited. 
to produce this for you all. And Clouds in My Coffee singing. Oh, is there a song called Clouds in Your Coffee? Sleep in the car, right? Right? You slept in your car, right? Okay, so we're having classes for parents and their child or children. It could be anywhere from four to six weeks. We haven't decided yet. But it is about children that you identify as gifted. The ones that you already know are gifted. The ones are like, oh, she talks about this spirit that comes to her every night. Those are the ones that we want to help. This is the pilot program. So we want to start out with gifted children to then know what to do with children to raise up their vibration. But we want the ones that are already having what I would consider problems with the spiritual world, right? Because we want to be able to talk about portals and spirits and sounds that come to them um, and all that good stuff, right? We're going to talk about chakras all on a kid level of understanding with parents, this is not Nickelodeon, with parents, because most times the parents are gifted, but they've been taught to push it back. And what I want now is for parent and child to embrace it. I want the child to be able to wake up and go, mom, I astral traveled last night. And I want this to be words that are normal for a 10 year old. All right, Amanda, that's what I'm trying to say. Amanda's like, I wish I had that opportunity when I was a child. Exactly, exactly. We'll see where it could take us later on, you know, but what we want to do is create a model for others. So for right now, we are doing gift. You, your child has to be gifted according to you. So this child has to see things, talk, talk to things, have fear of things, right? And they've got to, we want them to understand that something bad looking isn't always bad looking. Something bad looking isn't always bad. Sometimes some of the spirits don't know how to morph fast enough for the kid. And so the kid is like, ah, but we don't want them to have anxiety when they grow up. We want to empower their spiritual essence, raise their vibration, and take control. So, for those of you that know you have gifted children, contact me at, where do they contact me, God? At Tracy Brown Live at Gmail and I am with partnership with Jason D. McKean. And I believe that's Jason D. McKean. I'll put it down at Gmail. What time is it over there? What is your email? A-D-D-R-E. So fascinating, fascinating. So contact me and let me know now, early, um, if you would be interested. We are not discussing anything other than the fact that you're telling me, yes, I have a gifted child. Boom. That's all I need to know because I need to start preparing that list. Tiffany, how are you, sweetie? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good help to you too, Tiffany. How are you doing? In my reading, you told me my unborn granddaughter would be highly intuitive. She is. Mm -hmm. Not surprised, so, so sister. 
she looks at the same area and smiles. Now, let all. So your unborn granddaughter was probably being nurtured inside the womb. So she may have met this person through the canal of the mom. She may have met this person first before the mom. So she feels very comfortable with this person. Oh, please don't tell me. Hold on. TracyBrownLive.com. Oh, so Jason Poppy. This is Jason. Hold on, guys. Case. Chat. Chat, chat, chat. Oh, good morning. Good <laughs> morning. Just discussing on my feed and I gave them oh my god and I I gave them my email but I felt your email should be included sorry for not saying good morning could help all right so this is jason i'm doing good dory i'm ordering a hair oil this friday okay let me make sure the numbers on the hair oil are high let's see shop Settings? No. Assist? No. Analytics? No. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, edit. Oh, I put the whole uh, nine-day novena up here. It's nice. Image gallery. No text. No. No, leave it. Darn it. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. All right, I'll figure it out. I can't figure it out on my phone right now. Too tired. Done. All right. It should be enough to order. I'm not worried. Um, but I'll make sure it's a high number. Oh, thank you, sweetie. If you're on personal reading, go to tracybrownlive.com. I do have openings today. 213-458-7408. Just text me at 213-458-7408 and support is free. Hit the like button and subscribe. All right, so Megan will be queen. Period. All right. So let's talk about J-Lo for a minute. J-Lo. Um, how is J-Lo being pulled into this? I mean, I know how J-Lo is being pulled into this. If I were to ask a question on J-Lo, what would it be? Suge Knight seems to be talking up the storm. I don't know if I can believe everything Suge Knight says. But he's got this whole campaign, Justice for Tupac. Good <laughs> <Should> night. <laughs> he's got this whole campaign, Justice for Tupac. Hilarious. Oh, by the way, uh, 
Prince William and Prince Harry will never, never reconcile. And when I mean, when I say never, I mean in the next hundred years. I mean, it's possible. Anything's possible, but never. Never. He is very, very jealous of his wife. Um, just bear with me a little bit. And Meanwhile, ask me a question about J-Lo. But bear with me. Anne Marie's not coming back. Anne Marie, unfortunately, you didn't realize that you were Kyle's flunky. Kyle brought you on. Who likes Kyle? You were her flunky. You were her mouthpiece. And like every black woman that thinks they need to take care of somebody white, it didn't work for you. So bye-bye. All right. Uh, oh, Michigan gets to see the eclipse. Michigan. Ah, you guys are so lucky. Yes. All right. Mexican, Mex Michigan, Michigan gets to see the eclipse August 8th. Enjoy. But I think we needed to go. I low key want Lisa Rana to return. Oh, can it? Let's not conjure up that. Let's not conjure up that. But I think you're right. At least she was entertaining. Was there a question, Soul Sister? Was, was that a question that people are, like, really asking about? Or do we kind of know that answer? Like, we knew Shine took the rap. Um, should, should thinks he's like Trump trying to sell folks. <laughs> um, apparently, Cat Williams predicted this whole P. Diddy would be exposed in 2024. Now, listen, if anybody wants to get on a bandwagon... Of Tracy Brown and predicting the only person I would ever let in because he's there is Cat Williams. He's the only person I would be like, okay, you can join the psychic barbecue because you, you're gifted. And he is very gifted, by the way. The only reason why he has survived the way he has survived is truly because of his gift, right? So he's the only one that could be invited to the psychic barbecue. That's it. There might be others. I don't mean it that way, psychics. There might be others, but as far as someone that says they're not a psychic, um, Cat Williams is invited. So Cat Williams, on Monday, the Los Angeles, Miami, okay, yeah, yeah. Diddy Holmes were raided on Monday, right. Um, okay. This is Cat Williams, I think, speaking. All these big deviants are catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you're Diddy or whoever. T.D. Jakes. Oh, T.D. Jakes. Once it hits church, once it hits church, y'all just give up the ghost. Just give up the ghost. Just fall out. Do the Holy Ghost. Faint or whatever, because, yeah. This T.D. Jakes is bringing it in the church. We know that there are things in the church, right? Because remember, the Purple Couch came on and told us all their unscrupulous behaviors. Ciao. Throughout the nearly three hour podcast, it was on a podcast, Williams mentioned how he he's maintained his integrity <clears throat> integrity in his career. Right. Throughout the nearly three hour podcast, Williams mentioned how he's relocated. I want I had to turn down wow fifty million dollars four times. Pete Diddy be wanting a party and you got to tell him no. And I did. That's right, Cat. All right. I like Cat Williams. Is anybody surprised about Cooper Gooding Jr.? Anybody? Not me. What man proposes, God 
disposes. I love that chili bean, chili bean. I wonder if they try her for accessory, even though Shine was charged and did the same. Somehow she walked. She was arrested. You guys, did you know that she was actually arrested? Here's what I think happened with that incident, right? I think they wanted J-Lo too. But P. Diddy had judges in his back pocket. So it certainly wasn't about taking P. Diddy down. And I think one of those judges let J-Lo go. You know what I mean? Will J-Lo be... Oh, bingo. That's the question. All right, booty, 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 booty. Now you're going to see my booty shorts. I live in booty shorts all day. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is what it is. These aren't real booty shorts, but who cares? Okay, so listen to me. So I went out to bingo last night. I'm going to talk to you while I shuffle. It's, it's how I get the accurate reading. Because once they talk about me, then all the stuff comes through. All right, what up? So I went out to bingo last night, and uh, um, with my neighbor. And I I think he tried to cop a feel, like, several times, right? And, uh, I mean, I didn't mind. Like, go ahead and cop a feel. Like, I'm a girl. Like, I'm just going to be like this child. Like, go ahead and cop a feel, right? <laughs> but there's something awkward. <laughs> and, uh... I, I'm really going to enjoy, like, bingo. Not necessarily, like, you my man, right? I'm not, like, I'm not that type of girl. Like, I could care one way or the other. I enjoy company. And so, we went to bingo with his job people, which I, uh, they're just the nicest people. I'm so honored that they let me be, participate in that, right? But I'm, like, a plus one to, to him. And so... I get up to go to the bathroom, and I come back, and he had kind of like a weird change of attitude, right? And he goes, <laughs> he goes, do you want popcorn? And I go, not really. Which I have to learn, like, it's really hard being a, a girl, when like a girl, woman, girl, 62-year-old girl, woman. You know, in my age bracket, when I just spent my whole life taking care of me. So I don't have the mechanisms that says, yes, I'm a girl. <laughs> I just don't have that in me, right? There's only the bitch resides in there, right? Okay, so I don't want to do that. So I, stupid me goes, and I don't mean stupid, but come on. What's the question? Will Jado be asked to testify for the prosecution? Okay, thank you, Kenneth. So stupid me goes, no. And then I go, well, 
I'll tell you what. You buy the popcorn and then get a napkin and we'll share. That's the best I can do, people. That is the best I got. So he does that. He gets popcorn, shares it with me. And then he goes, I had already told him before we went, I was not drinking. No, I'm not drinking. Last time I went, these, they make drinks. It's too strong. I, I can't, can't even read the boards. I'm like this, reading the boards. I'm trying to like win bingo, but you can't win bingo with all the drink inside of you. But that's me. I'm not a good drinker. And so I, before we left, I said, I brought my water, which I can't find it right now. I said, I brought my water. I am not going to drink. So he comes back. And he goes, so I come back, the popcorn, and he goes, do you want something to drink? Because I'll get you something to drink. And I'm like, like, in my mind, I'm thinking, didn't you remember? Like, we had this conversation, but I don't want to say anything to him because I'm around these people. So I go, yeah. And he goes, what? What do you want? It's whispering. Like, nobody could hear. He goes, what do you want? And I go, I don't know. And it's like, so I pointed to a drink that another girl had. And I think, I can't prove it, right? This is just psychic, right? Everything you do is psychic. I think when I went to the bathroom, there's a woman, you know, she's a beautiful woman, mature. It's her table. She's like, I feel like she said to him, how dare you? How dare you? Bring her and not be a gentleman, not offer her a drink. And I think he felt embarrassed. So then he had to take care of me <laughs> in front of it. So funny, so funny. I was cracking up. I was like, now I gotta order a drink because they done forced him to take care of me. These women are like, oh, you're not doing this at this table. You are gonna learn to take care of this woman. <laughs> Oh, this poor guy. Psychically, I got that. I should. I want to ask him. <laughs> hey, did they force you to like be nice to me? All right, whatever. He's a nice guy, very, very nice guy. And we got on the topic of Candace Owens, who he loves. And then that's almost a deal breaker. But what's been happening lately since he announced how much he loves Candace Owen? My girlfriend, my girlfriend is the way he announced it the second time. So we were talking about it last night. And I said, he said something about Candace Owen. I was like, oh, Candace. And I was like, listen to me. I, and I pointed out something that Candace said about P. Diddy saying that P. Diddy is, not the one they're looking for in these tapes. They're not looking for evidence. They got 10 years of evidence. I promise you, everyone. There's enough to smoke P. Diddy right now. They're looking for the videos that P. Diddy could use against others, right? And I think I said that before Candace. I hope I said it before Candace, but it doesn't matter. She said it, which means for me, and I told him last night, I said, I feel like she's going to come over to the black side. And I said to him, if she comes over to the black side, I can accept your girlfriend. And he goes, really? Should you? And I said, I could, yes. I'm a woman of my word. Yes, I could come over to your girlfriend. But only if she comes over to the black side. He was happy with that. He needed my support. So I gave it to him. <laughs> not to be rude, but not lie. He couldn't help himself. Cop, copped a feel like several times. And I'm like, dude, you don't know me. I can just wrap my leg around you. You could, Nobody will know, right? Like, look at me. I could wrap my leg around him and he can just rub it underneath the table. Like, oh no, we got this. We got this.
got out the car, I have to ask him if he cares, right? I like the take on that, right? Right, I'm trying to help him. So I have to ask him, and I think I'm just gonna come out and ask him. I don't care. It, it's good to be in this age bracket. So I go, we can work it out. <laughs> We can work this shit out. So I have to ask him, does he like hair on legs? Personally, I'm at the age bracket. I will do my underarms, right? I do like shaving my underarms. But I'm at the point in my life where I'd rather see you play with the hair on my legs. I don't want to shave them anymore. So... I'm going to ask him, and then I'll let him know. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Mm, I have hair on my legs, so I'll just say it that way. So he could go, oh, oh no, 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 hair on the legs, it's fine. Like, you're human, right? I'm human and hairy. I'm not hairy, but I think it took two years for me to get, let me see if I can show you guys. Hold on a second. It doesn't look like that I'm hairy, but I am. Can you see the hair on my legs? Oh, you can see. Oh, wait, see? Yeah, I think that's pretty hairy, don't you? I think so. Shit back just, yeah, that's pretty hairy. In any case, I'm not fixing it. I'm not shaving my legs. If you 20 year old, you go ahead and save, shave your legs and shave your coochie. Now, I might do my coochie. Not shave it, but at least like buzz it. TMI? Just TMI. Too much information. Yeah. All right, I'm tone it down. No coochie talk. All right. I won't talk about my coochie. It's my favorite, favorite talk. <laughs> Please shave the coochie. You're like you young. Y'all like to shave and snatch it and burn it and peel it and rip it out. By the way, my coochie's gray. It's gray. It's gray. So. Yeah. Okay. Too much? Eat too, TMI? Too much visuals? Now you can't get this out of your head? It's gray, people. God makes them go gray down there. Clean the cat. <laughs> Clean the damn cat. <laughs> See, I love cat. Cat is like, we don't want you to be thin. Stop the coochie talk. Okay. <laughs> Eccentric goes, this woman is a friend in my head. Legit. Oh, but Kenneth goes, I'm closing my ears. <laughs> I'm not balding nothing down there. Hair is there for a reason. Well, but so are underwears. Back in the day, remember, back in the day, there was no such thing as underwear. So hair was protective. But now we got underwears. All right. Shaking my head, not the cooch. Call it pocketbook. Pocketbook? What the hell is that? Pocketbook. Why am I? Wait. Wait. You know I could take that all kinds of ways, cat. <laughs> it does bring in money, child. Okay. Give it a buzz cut. Ball fade number one. Got it. Got it, Yolanda. See, you got to talk to you. I could do that myself. I'll just get a cutter. I used to have them. I don't know why I didn't carry them from California. All right. Sherry, you must be young. Sherry's like, I love it bold and smooth because you're young. Mine is great too. Oh, well. <laughs> Arms and a little grooming to trim the lawn. I don't have hair. See? It took two years for it to get. Like, if you never cut it, then, it, but it took two years. I just don't want to. All right. 
I'm not doing my legs. I've already decided. He's going to have to find a way to play with the hairs on my legs. Underneath the table of bingo. He's going to have to find a way. <laughs> oh, yep, I used the edge up clippers. Ca cause them raises would nip me. Oh, okay. Me too. Cat likes it bald. Keep it clean. What? I don't have time for that. But I will buzz it. I will. I, I will. I'm only going to buzz it because I don't like the gray. That's the only reason. All right. Back to Kenneth. Will she be forced to testify? Let's see. Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about J-Lo. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. J-Lo's your child. She's your love. She is your beloved Father God. Please authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> I can't feel 12. I don't know what that means. I can't do bald. Okay. I've never heard pocketbook. Hi, Tiffany. I've never heard pocketbook. All right. Amen. Amen. Ashe. All right. I have I have no damn thing and he didn't say a word about it. I'm 55 years old. I have no a damn thing, and he didn't say a word about it. I'm 55 years old, by the way. I have no, I shave, I shave, no. Oh, Angela's saying she doesn't shave anything. I think that's reasonable. I believe you just get to a certain age where you're like, I, I want to go back to cave, cave woman status. Like, I'll wear deodorant, but you know, we've talked about deodorant too. I've decided deodorant, the way they're making it nowadays, makes my underarms uncomfortable. I don't like deodorant, but I do put it on because it's hot, 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 hot. I didn't have not a damn thing. I still don't get it. I'm trying, Andrew. I'm trying. Still don't get it. All right, are we ready to talk about, where's the question, Kenneth? I lost you, Kenneth. Are we ready to talk about J-Lo? Every time I look at this Clarence Avant guy, I'm scared. Seriously, and not too many people scare me, but somebody in my group just put. Oh my God. All right. Lord, not cake me <laughs> You've never been that. I know. I know. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> Let's talk about J Lo, the handler. I don't know if she's a handler. I, I just did. I just did. And thank you. I don't know if she's a handler. Oh, you know when you just look at someone and you feel that, even in his pictures, I think the man is evil. Evil. I think this was P. Diddy's mentor. Maybe I should do a reading on that. I always thought it was Clive Davis, but now I'm thinking it's this weirdo. What do you think, Angela? All right. Will... J-Lo be forced to give testimony. 
I'm hearing this. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it. And I'm learning yesterday is where I learned this on my own feed. So now I get to do some research and get to figure out what's his. All right. Yes. Yes. J Lo, however, is going to go back to her original Santeria roots and go run into a madrino so that her testimony doesn't affect her career. However, J Lo, I do want you to know that your career will get affected. It will. Period. By your boyfriend. Period. So, and then there's another man following your boyfriend, <coughs> King of Cups, your boyfriend, because he's a Scorpio, right? I always forget his sign. There's another man here, King of Pentacles, and Taurus Virgo Capricorn man, or somebody that carries the money, does the money, does the books. That's, thank you, Kira. That's exactly what I think is going to happen. I think that if she doesn't do right, her career fa fails. No matter how hard you work, there won't be a movie that people will see. <laughs> so... I think if you want to keep on working, because you are one of the hardest bitches in Hollywood, I think the only way you're going to become relative, relative, again, is to testify. Escaping this is not going to work, but she's certainly in confusion right now. And she is in talks with what can she reveal? I think that the Four of Wands has something to do with him loving her, and that's the only one he would have married. And to be honest with you, I really think she would have married him too. I think he couldn't stop his lifestyle in front of her, and that's why she got out, which is what a Leo would do. And I get another man here. Get another man here. So, why am I thinking Mark Anthony, but I don't know why. That doesn't make sense to me. Why is Mark Anthony being brought up here today? Could be Diddy had ruined... Jail's marriage with Mark Anthony. Could Pete Diddy have ordered Will Smith's wife, Jada, to F Mark Anthony, take him down? Absolutely, Soul Sister. Soul Sister says J-Lo was, wasn't a gatekeeper. She was an opportunist. Absolutely. She used Puffy to further her career. Ah, I did. As I'm talking, that's why I was talking so slow. I'm like, this sounds familiar, but did it come out of my mouth? That's what I was thinking. I was like, did I say this or did I hear it? Like, the, the minute I saw this card, this reminded me of... Mark Anthony. Now, I don't know what sign Mark Anthony is, and it doesn't matter, but that's what it reminded me of. Oh, let me show you guys. And the card... Ooh, phone. Let me do this. The card was next to P. Diddy. Right? So this is how it looks. Mark Anthony, P. Diddy, Right? And then there's this money man here. 
And is this the guy that encouraged, is the money guy encouraged the breakup of J-Lo's marriage? Because this is J-Lo's reading, right? Why would J? Why would Jada do this though? I mean, other than that, she is just kinky in general. But why would she do this? What's her hatred for J Lo? Because this has to be about hatred of this woman between the two women. You know what I mean? So, for right now, J Lo is holding enough information to give testimony she is will she i want to say yes the judgment card tells me yes but more important because she she is a king component but she can turn this testimony into doing a good thing i believe i believe um, hold on a I walked away guys so let me see the judgment which is the first part that came up which tells me that she will get called on the carpet um she will be spoken with she may have to give testimony um i don't know to what degree because justice tells me she has to go on the stand but this might come down to giving some private testimony uh, the judgment card comes in a form of rebirth, judge, or being judged. So, not doing this, girl, you won't be in trouble. Um, a change of position will also enact a career change if you don't do it. If you do it, your career gets resurrected. And you can use all this drama by being a victim, J-Lo. But there is a renewal and there is a call to action. Right now, you're trying to evaluate your role in all of this in terms of what do you reveal. Um, there's a transition, an awakening, a metamorphosis. You finally have to deal with P. Diddy. You have to. But I do want to offer up J-Lo. It will be transformative and it will be healing. And it might be the very thing that you need to break free of old habits of trying to trap pathetic men like your husband you have right now. It's a clean slate. However, J-Lo, you must remember, you sow what you eat. You're not innocent. Even in keeping secrets, you are not innocent. So what do you know? Okay. I'm gray all of a sudden. What's that about? Um, I don't care for J-Lo. A lot of people don't, sweetie. I hear you. You look gray for a second. I don't care for J-Lo. A lot of people don't. She is a vulture, culture vulture, in my opinion. Oh, I need a facial, guys. Um, she did. She did it before with Kim Kardashian. Maybe Jada didn't care for her. Yeah, but I want to know what that beef is. She must be in some of those videos. Ah, uh, no. No, you know how I know she wasn't in any of those videos? Because there were times when she couldn't find him. 
and at the hotel and she would be knocking on doors and calling everybody to find out where her man was. So, Leos don't share. Hi, Harry. Hey. Hi. Leos don't share. If we share, it's because it's a power position. Like, we control the narrative. But Leos don't share. So, no, I don't believe I would be... Let me see if she's any of those videos. Wait. Now I'm thinking about it. What the fuck? You may have hit on something, Yolanda, and I'm like ignoring what you're saying, which I do a lot. Y'all kept trying to tell me, Carisha, 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 and I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Now I'm like, Carisha, the people already knew. Is she in any of those videos? Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, The Hangman. Uh, that's possible. It's possible, Yolanda. Ten of Wands, Cover Up. God damn it, J Lo. God damn it. Wands is in my environment. Page of Swords tells me most likely, and she now hates herself for it. Final outcome. Oh, J-Lo. J-Lo. Damn it. All right. Yolanda, great question. She's in at least one video with someone. Now I'm trying to think. She is in a video. Now I'm trying to think that they make a video with just the two of them. Or she, is she in a video with another woman, which is, I think, what P. Diddy likes. No, I think he likes other men, but I think she might have been in a video with another woman. Oh, J-Lo, that's why she's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? She's scared, guys. She's scared. Damn you, J-Lo. J-Lo, you nasty. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I think threesomes are threesomes. I don't do threesomes. I, I, but there's a video out there. Damn. If she doesn't say her involvement, someone else will. They snitching on everybody. Thank you. All right, Yolanda, great question. I didn't want to believe it, and I've really got to stop with my emphatic belief system. She's a fellow Leo. I just wanted to believe that a Leo would never. But then, you know, but then I was like, I don't know, for a power position, a Leo might, because it's a power, and then I was like, oh, let me just check it, and sure enough, Sure enough, J-Lo, you're worried too, like the rest of them. It is what it is. Final outcome. Hold on.
Can you guys hear me now? Perfect. Upside down fold. Right side up gossip. Okay. Upside down fold means using humor to wound rather than liberate denial of your emotional truth. Upside down fool. Shadow clown or fool manifests as cruel personal mockery or betrayal. Is that P. Diddy portraying her? Gossip right side up means Associated with rumor spreading, backbiting, and passing along information that's exaggerated, harmful, and intended to disempower. Drives in a power generated by passing on secret or private news. Connected to lessons of truth, integrity, and honoring the trust another has placed in you. <sighs> this is about life lessons that have emerged from participating in a gossip that has harmed another, or from raiding a relationship by whether a person is willing to share secrets with you. Associated with rumor spreading, backbiting, and passing along information that's exaggerated, harmful, and intended to disempower. So, I feel like one could be J-Lo and one could be P. Diddy. So, again, is he going to throw people under the bus? Yes. Yes, he will. And he may exaggerate her participation, but what does it matter? People are going to believe it, believe it, believe in it. So, J-Lo, here's your advice. I was getting ready to say that, Kiara. Here's your advice. Talk. Now. Stop acting confused. And we go, what do I do? What do I do? Call someone in Homeland Security and get ahead of this. Testify. Today. Or else your boy is going mad and he's going to dump you under the bus. All right, guys, is that everything? I've got some business to handle and i got readings. So I want to move. Musa. Musa. I love you guys. Take it easy. Bye. I hope they got enough tapes, child. That's my that's my jam. I hope you got they got all the tapes. Enjoy today in the sun. You too, sweetie. In the sun. All right, guys. Take it. Oh, call me for your own personal reading. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Bye, guys. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown.